All right, so for this bit, I'm going to be using a quarter inch, I believe, carbide bit meant for drilling masonry, followed by a 5 16 longer bit, also for drilling masonry, uh, followed by this final, I believe, Makita uh, red abrasive diamond bit, which is kind of the workhorse here. So these are all for fitting in these pull out studs. They fit, uh, you know, nicely, snugly in there and are going to get epoxied into place. And uh, thankfully, this is the last one I have to do for a while. So I'll start out by grabbing this guy. And I'm just using plain old tap water. I put it in a little squirt gun just to make it easier. I do a little squirt. The idea here is to drill a small pilot hole to keep things aligned. So paper towels, super, super important. Probably use an entire roll to do just the granite block. So I'm going to add some more water. Now these first two drills are solely to, uh, first two drills are just to get alignment. We eventually stop using them. to the workhorse. Now, for this one, water is still going to be lubricant, but uh, we're going to be doing something slightly different. Uh, basically, we're going to make ourselves a little moat for it. Uh, so this is just a ring of mm, clay. Nothing special, just went to the art store, got some clay. This is just a way to retain a little trough of water. Sometimes if it doesn't stick well, you can rub it on your pants just to take off the layer of dust and expose a fresh layer of sticky clay. It's okay if it leaks a little bit. It's not creating like a super dam. It's just there to make our lives a little bit easier. So here goes nothing. Last hole. Now, while you're drilling, you may want to rock it around a little bit. The reason for that is oftentimes you'll get a little tiny plug in there. Let's see if I got one. And I find it helpful to have like an Allen key or something. You'll see you get a gross little plug of material which you can just kick out and then keep going.
One part of this is just learning how to do it by eye. One visual part is that the uh, this guy is about the same length. So once the main drill bit is kind of through, you know, you're pretty much done. But fishing these out seems to speed it along quite a bit. I like to try to stop before they're too big to come out of this hole. Most of this drilling process is just clearing <coughs> clearing these plugs. Probably do it every I don't know, quarter of an inch. could tell here that this was push, being pushed up into the collet. So we're approaching the point where I want to clean up our moat. And take that out. I can hear the people screaming because I'm drilling into a surface plate, but I don't know, for a hundred bucks on Amazon shipped, it's uh, certainly cheaper than alternative options. At the end of the day, it's just rock. Very nice rock. So right now what I'm doing is I'm hopefully cleaning out the hole of liquid. Um, I try not to get these guys too wet, just out of habit, I imagine they will either rust or get grit in them, both of which would be bad. So, with it. So, let's see how we're doing. Depth-wise. And we still got another quarter inch or so. So this is fine. Top this guy up. Just more tap water.
according to my depth, should be very close. A nice plug in there. Get that out. Do my best to clean some of this out. Let's see, does it fit? This is part of it is if you're not perfectly square that this will have some hang-ups. So this is where it's a little more sculpting. You can kind of come at it at an angle. And then another issue you can run into is if there's a big plug in the middle, which it appears there is. So that's where rocking it typically helps quite a bit. Helps kind of break up that. Or alternatively, you can stick a smaller implement in there and just try to crack it. Or, if that fails, you can swap to a different type of bit, which also can do. So I'll use a little bit of material to keep the dust down. And that should have done it, in theory. See, very close. Say, also, if you have canned air, this is just like micro center duster air, but anything will work. You can spray it into the hole and helps get some of the dust out and actually prevent it from fitting. I say we are very close. So just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Few splashes, keep dust down. That is a flush bit. Looks pretty square to me. So, all that done. So that is how you drill a hole in a granite plate in about 15 minutes. So in this assembly for the rig CNC, is the reasonably inexpensive granite CNC. You have quite a few holes. Let's see, we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 holes times at least 15 minutes each. Uh, translates to one 
pain in the ass amount of time. But get a pretty cool CNC out of it. So that's all I got for now. And I guess see you next time.